Just a few things. Just a few things, are you kidding? Keep on, keep on filling. Want some, some more stuff? That's about it. You got that other cool, uh, cooler right the there. Another the back. Do you want to toss this? That's fine. It looks like it's messed up. That's fine. Toss it. Just hold 20 pounds, baby. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. All right. What else is going in? That's it for uh, your sewing machine. <laughs> Gosh, look at that. Show them the closet. The closet is Immaculate. nearly empty now. It's immaculate. So that's one area of progress we got. All the grill stuff is under here now. All of the chair stuff is our mats, mats and stuff like that are in that now. We uh, still got to go through this and these cabinets. These cabinets. Which so we're going to clean. We're going to clean all that up. And we usually, at least one time a year, we we reevaluate everything. And because we got so much stuff for Christmas. Yeah. And we'll show you that as we're putting it into practice. But um, everything we got was camping stuff. Yeah. So. All right, we're cleaning out the cabinets again. We're finding lots of stuff. You know how you always have souvenir cups that you pick up when you go to places. And, you know, you get the souvenir cup because you get free refills. Well, we've been packing those in from different events for quite a while and they've just accumulated way too much so we're ditching a lot of those show, show them the dish cabinet the dish cabinet is a lot better it's a lot more cleaned and, up we got a lot more space and we have this holy canisters batman holy canisters batman yeah <laughs> so we are cleaning up quite well and no i don't worry about that this is our entertainment cabinet. Okay. There's DVDs and games. This this was a TV box originally. Yeah. But that's okay. That's what since we, we got the big TV, we don't need it. Yeah. And over the cabinet storage, which you've shown, I'm so proud of this. Got Every single thing has labels. Now these are lights that go on our awning, so they have to be charged. So we do leave them in here. But you can see everything else is labeled. I'm OCD. He picks on me. But all this stuff, all this stuff over here is going inside and or, or in the trash. <laughs> so we're tossing a bunch of stuff. So look at all. This. I mean, look at all these cups we got. <laughs> Water bottles and just stuff we don't need. Usually, if your camper is in storage for a long time and you know it's been raining, it's a good idea to uh, open up the awning once in a while, let the sun get to it, let it air out. You know, let it dry out. And you can see where it's got like the water stains on the camper. Um, now it does, it, it is no, normally that color, by the way. As, as far as here, yeah, this is, this is normal. That, that's how it came. But up top where it's, it fades to white, that's where the water stains usually go. And it's gross. And so, <laughs> this here is uh, one of the. Uh, Paint, it's a paint roller actually that you can fill with paint. Now I'm not going to use it for paint. I, I found out when I did use it for paint, I didn't like it as much because it would just splatter a lot of the paint where, where you, you, what you're supposed to do is fill it up right here with paint and then just continuously roll. And, and that's fine as long as you've got everything covered, but as I would roll, it would splatter the paint out a lot more than a regular roller. But this thing also works good when it comes to cleaning, and you can just fill it up with cleaner, and um, let and, and apply the cleaner that way. So that's another idea you can do, and it doesn't matter if it splatters that way because you know you're trying to apply it to everything anyway. So it's a it's a neat idea, a way to clean up your awning. So,
Wow. A mate, that wipes right away. Cool. Y'all, this awning is gross. But this is a really good hack. Get up there at the kind of up a little. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put some more cleaner on. We're loosening everything up so that it won't stick to the arm. And, and this would be a good tool to use just for cleaning the camper in general. But my goodness, that's stiff. That's going to really going to clean nicely. I don't know about you, but for us, usually the winter time will bring us getting different gear in anticipation for the camping season. Uh, just because we don't do much travel in the winter, we, that's something we want to change. Um, but we really focused on upgrading our kitchen stuff this year. For us, our families usually get involved in that, and it usually turns out that this is stuff we end up getting for Christmas. Um, one thing that we really wanted, and I would stress to anybody, is get some very good airtight containers. These are plastic. You could go with heavier-duty glass ones. We didn't want the weight. Um, we can post a link to these if you want, but as you can see, they have an airtight seal. So there's nothing in there that's going to get ants in it, which is something that every RVer has a problem with. We, we got some of these in various places. These came from Amazon, and there's a couple different sizes. There's one size in the set that's smaller than this, too, and they were very reasonably priced. These two came from Ikea. This is more to hold a whole, full box of cereal, which every once in a while we do. And this is slightly smaller for your sugar, salt, whatever. Um, we've got some new salt shakers coming, too. That's another thing that I did get. That's what I'm forgetting. Is my little uh, salt and pepper. Spice mini, ears, mini spice jars. Yeah, so we need to have those, too. Um, <clears throat> some other things that we have gotten, these came from Camping World, and they are collapsible bowls. Also with air tight seals. Yes, as you can tell. And they, they came with lids, but they just pop out the bottom. And there you go, and we have several different sizes. Now this one, and you'll find we do this a lot, this particular one, I like as well, and it's the biggest. I just bought a Goodwill. But it's large enough to serve some salad out of or what have you. And they just collapse right down. Now this one, you kind of have to take it layer by layer. But um, they collapse right down, no problem. As you can see. So they're great to have. I'm going to do it this way. And that's what you have to put in your cabinet. So, I'll show you. That's all they take up. The other thing that we realized is we did not have a good selection of knives. These also came from Camping World. And each one of them are sheathed. So, no reaching into a drawer. And they're positioned all crazy and you cut yourself. And we put all the things that cut in one space. Also a good thing in the camper is storage. These make an airtight seal. These are called grip sticks. Um, so if, you're, if you've got like a chip bag or something like that, um, and we'll demonstrate these for you, um, they seal the top of your bag. Like you hook, you fold it over, you hook this part, and slot it and it makes it the best seal and the food stays so fresh and the other thing that we have is snap bags we purchased these at an rv show but they are on amazon at the same price these are neat they're not just your typical silicone bags you can microwave in these and they snap in place like that but you can cook out of these as well under pressure in the microwave 
they shorten the time. Yeah, but you can see they're kind of hinged like that. And you put your veggies or leftovers or whatever, and you just snap them and microwave out of them. So they're a big space saver as well. Mm. So we're really excited to start putting these to use on the road. Now, don't the, these um, pressurize? They do. They pressure they, cook. That is my understanding. Now, when you're doing this, you just roll them up, but you do have to kind of get the air out. As you can see, that's airtight. That still got air in it, but. And that's all that's going in your drawer rather than a big storage container. So those are some solutions that we've come up with for the kitchen. We'll let you know how they work, but we're anxious to test them out. I think it's gonna make life a little better. Another thing that we just got this year that's probably really overdue was a TPMS. Uh, I'll, we, we got this one for Christmas. We, we just send out our wish list to everybody and everybody knows to get us something that has to do with camping. Well, that was per my parents. And so, yeah, <laughs> they, they know that we're really into traveling, so they want to get us something for Christmas or or whatever. They they know that anything to do with camping was a is a sure hit. But uh, this TPMS system is uh, pretty neat. It comes with these little uh, monitors these little monitors there's one for that's already pre labeled for each tire on the camper and uh you have these uh little uh rubber seals that go around these so that they can't twist and turn while you're going down the road you would hate to lose these so this prevents that from happening um the monitor is solar powered so which is very cool so this stays on your dashboard in your truck and will always stay charged because it's solar powered uh, i'm installing the uh, tpms like this one is labeled the right rear so i've already taken the old cap off but you're supposed to put on the rubber dust guard seal first you're supposed to turn it inside out stick that all the way on and you got a little hex nut that you put on there's a little hex nut to put on first The right rear monitor. Bring it all the way in. Now we have tire pressure monitoring on our truck. On yeah, the we've, uh, it's, it's built into the into the truck, so we don't need it for the truck. And then you turn the dust guard inside out like that and it keeps everything all together and these things will not turn now that you got that rubber thing on there and I'm going to do the same thing on all of them and then I'm going to show you inside okay now this is hooked up it's backlit it is solar powered it's going to sit right there but as you can tell, uh, she hasn't given it away by showing it like that. Uh, every one of the tires are low. But the camper's been sitting there for about, what, six months? Well, not quite, but... Not quite. And today it is very, very cold. Uh, so one of the things is that when it gets cold, your tire pressure goes down. Because of the expansion of the air when it gets hot. So like in the summertime, even if we never put any air in it, that tire pressure would go up just because of the temperature change. It's very, very cold right now. You don't want to overfill your tires when it's cold 
because then when it does get hot, they will be overinflated and it will be more likely that they would have a blowout. To keep keep an eye on your uh, tire pressure when it starts getting hotter because the hotter it gets, the higher the pressure is going to get. And there again, we have tire pressure monitoring here in the truck. We right. just don't have it on the RV. Right. This particular truck uh, has built-in TPMS for the four tires here. This car has been, it's a 2008, believe it or not, and it has been amazing. And it's gone all the way from Niagara Falls to Tampa, Florida, and without a hitch. Well, well <laughs> technically, it had a hitch, and then we had it hit, had that hitch to it. This It's been super reliable, so highly recommend Lincoln, just to shout them out. It's, it's pretty good. But all four tires need air, and I'm glad that I know that now. And I, I don't even have to plug this thing in. It's, it's, it's running consistently via solar power. So this will always be on no matter what. Awesome. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for bloopers. And until next time, happy camping. Move the stuff that was over here into there. Move stuff that was in there down here. It's not very expensive. Uh, so it's something that we should have had from the beginning. We probably wouldn't have had our, you know, you learn as you go, but we probably wouldn't have had two blowouts on our way up to New York had we had this. Does that look okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Tell right. me when you're ready. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you.